You can never run off. So if you're on the trail, you know, your horse gets going a little bit, you're in the, on the Arizona trails there, and you're riding your horse, if you could stop them any time, how much better would you feel as a rider, knowing that? Think about it. It's and I don't mean run. There's a difference, right? So I work on that. So motion, more motion, a little more life. We'll get them to wake up a little bit, a little more life. All right, a little less, a little less life. And I'll start to cut some angles, and now I'm just leading that front end through here. And the position that I'm in now, I'll show you something. It's, it's pretty, pretty fun to do this. If you keep the rope, see how my leading hand is my left hand, and my driving flag hand is my right hand. I'm just going to keep myself set like this for a minute, and I'm not going to change hands. But what I'll do is I'll work on changing his direction, and I'll do what I've been doing. I'll arc around the rear, I'll step around the rear, I'll cross the hind legs, I'll lead that front end through, but notice how I just haven't changed hands yet. It's simple. It's easier this way at first. So now my front side is facing him. And this is more like a lunging position, if you think of that. So my, be my belly button is facing him. Ready? Now I'm going to cut an angle. He knows this now. I lead the front end through and he's behind me. See that? And you've probably done this already, leading horses, and you've probably circled and lunged horses. So all you do is you just practice not changing hands. You just leave it there. And you work that. And if it gets to like, you get to a point where you go, I don't know, I don't know if I can do that, we have videos. YouTube's free. Use it. Because I show, I show all this on our YouTube channel as well. So that's, that's pretty handy. But the idea is, I took that movement, I started to then do something with it. And even the flag in motion. And then I got him to kind of lock on to me, hook on to me, me mesh with my movements and my energy. So when I come down, you come down, the horse. And when I get going, you get going. So that's a big deal there. So I think I'll get my hackmore put on him here. I guess there's one last thing uh, that I might want to do here with this horse, and that would be if you could think about the horse being inside of a, like a box. So he's standing inside like four cones or four poles, like a box. You could practice getting his legs square and then approaching with a low posture where I just sort of blade my shoulder to the horse. I kind of come up like this, and uh, let's redirect him here. I'll do a better job of supporting what I want to have happen. And what I'll practice doing is have him stay put, but I'll watch his head and neck and his, his chest. See, like right there, he's about to move. So I lifted that time, and I said, you stay there. And so what I'm going to practice doing is backing away from the horse and having him stay put. And then I'm going to practice reapproaching. And I don't want to see him get troubled or nervous. I don't want to see the eyes open up too wide. I want him... He could be blinking a little bit more. He's kind of looking at me like, Jack, this has been a long weekend, man. Um, but I want to be able to approach him and back off. See what happened right there? I was a little bit late, so I got in there. I said, just get back. Now I'm going to approach his side. The idea is he stays in place while I move around. And you know, there's a lot of horse people, they're like, I'll ask you to tie your horse, and they'll go, well, I ground tie my horse. And people are real proud of that. And that's a good skill, but this is how you can teach it. So every time you work with your horse, if that belly, the middle of the rope, the belly of the rope is on the ground, you can practice backing off, reapproaching. And he's, he, right there, he's like, do I need to, he looked at me, he said, do I need to do something? And I'm like, oh, oh it's okay. Because I've been sort of moving him around a lot the last few days, right? So I need to reconfirm, no, just stay in place. And so I practice giving the horse space. Giving the horse space. How many times have you heard a horse needs to yield from you? You've heard it. It's true. A horse should, if you ask, a horse should yield. But sometimes people get a little carried away with that and the horse starts to get, they get to a place where they don't like you so much. If I can teach a horse to halt, 
even when nervous, he can never crowd. You can never run off. So if you're on the trail, you know, your horse gets going a little bit, you're in the, on the Arizona trails there, and you're riding your horse, if you could stop him any time, how much better would you feel as a rider, knowing that? Think about it. It's the same thing here on the ground. If I could stop him any time, he couldn't crowd me because I would just stop him. It's a tool. There's, it's not that a horse is pushy. They just don't know how to stop. See? So I could even get to where I could walk forward and lift the rope up and have him stay in place and then bring him. And see, I'm able to lead a horse really far away And if I ever had to lead one down a slippery mountain, I sure as heck don't want to be leading them by the by the head. I want to be way away. I want to be at a distance, right? But the idea is this: He waits for me. He gives me space. And so I practice that approaching, and then he knows to. I had to help him, and then he knows when I walk off, when I turn, and he knows. Okay, go with Jack. Go with him, and then he knows here, halt. And if I lift, of course, that would mean, that would mean back. And sometimes I'll get to where I'll work on just stepping to the side. I'll drop the rope, walk around the horse, or even, you know, approaching the horse with a flag, uh, and backing off, and reapproaching, and showing him when should he stay put and stay there, like a dog, sit, stay, very important, because then you have their focus. And then he understands, okay, now... We go. We move. And that's real nice right there. So if your horse is pushy, chances are it might not be a yielding problem. It might just be you can't get down to their feet and stop them. You can't get down to the legs enough. Does that, does that kind of make sense? All right. We'll get our... We'll